Morning, morning. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Morning, morning. Morning. Happy Tuesday. How are you? Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, pero, are you out? Ya se fuera de su casa. Are you out? Sí, sí, sí. Wow, are you on your way to work? No, 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 a dejar a los niños al cole. Oh, okay. Wow, but that's so early. Salir temprano, wow. Okay, so just be safe. And thanks a lot for, for joining, like super, super early. Hi, guys, uh, morning. También ya están fuera. Are you out of your house as well? Hi, Jonathan, Robert. Wendy, William, good morning. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? Morning, miss. Good morning. Morning, morning. morning. Yeah, right? It's been very, very cold. Ha estado como bien helado, you know, like... Uh. ¿Cómo estuvo la lluvia de ayer? How was uh, yesterday's rain? No les afectó? Were you affected a little? So potente, pues. So fea, so bastante complicada. But, pero nadie vive cerca de la zona, eh, ¿cómo se llama esta zona, güey? En Ilopango. Yeah, exactly. No sé, que yo no. No sé, uh, demás. Ok. Hey, chicos, alguien vive cerca de la zona que, que siempre se afecta, like Santa Lucía. In Ilopango, no. No, me. Ok, thank God. Yeah, porque estaba como bastante complicada. Ya saw the pictures and, and se veía bastante difícil. So it looked that it was quite difficult. Pero me alegra mucho verlos. Jenny, good morning, Jenny. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> So thanks a lot, guys, eh, for, for joining, for being here, like, super, super early. One second. All right, guys. Um, so I guess you're very quiet today. <laughs> okay, the, thanks a lot for joining. Um, so vamos a nuestra sesión número 12, right? And we are going to uh, try to make the best we can. Teníamos una tareita por ahí para el día de ahora, right? So there was a little homework assignment. Um, and, uh, and of course, vamos a... a uh, tenerla. Vamos a escucharlos. We are going to listen to you. We are going to hear what you have to say for us. Eh, antes de comenzar, solamente me gustaría tomar asistencia. Si me ayudan, porfa, unos minutitos con eh, su camarita. You know, si es posible, if you can do it. Y regalándome confirmación verbal. Right, que están acá. Um, Okay, so Christian, regaleme confirmación, porfa. I'm here, I'm here. Thank you, Gerardo. Me hizo Gerardo, I didn't see him yesterday. Jenny, veo a Jenny por ahí, solo me regala confirmación, porfa. Gracias. Jonathan. Present. Thank you so much. Jorge, George. Todavía no. Oh, José. Roberto. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Linda. Present. Hola, Linda. Good morning. Good morning. Janet. Janet, Janet. Todavía no. Eh, Luis, me. Hola Luis Mi. Wait, creo que escuché a alguien, but I'm not sure if that was Luis Miguel. No, not yet. He's not here yet. 
Okay. Um, so Miss Miss not here, Mr. Chacon. Uh, Wendy. Present. Thank you. And Mr. Cruz. Ya lo vi por ahí. Super early too. Present. Gracias. Thanks a lot for that. Okay, guys, let me start presenting my screen and uh, we can start practicing today. Okay. Um, so, el día de ayer estábamos hablando un poquito de um, planes a futuro, actividades que vamos a hacer en el futuro. Ahora vamos a hacer el, la combinación de ambas, present continuous, simple present, right? Vamos a intentar eh, contrastarlos, combinarlos and use them as well. So, parte de nuestra agenda de este warm-up, vocabulary review, present continuous, simple present, eh, y luego pues la tarea, right? So, we always, eh, vamos a, a revisar esta tareita. Eh, to get started, tenemos un poquito de vocabulario. So, we have here some vocabulary. And of course, I need your hand and I need your help with this. Tenemos, por ejemplo, pick up, right? Eh, we have handin, tenemos type, arrange, and take care. Um, ayúdenme con cuál de estas oraciones you consider um, va cada una de esas palabras. Where can we use pick up? Where can we use handin? Etc. etc. Um, let's see if it's Janet to write. Okay, so where can we use the words, guys? Help me with them. ¿A dónde las podemos utilizar? Where can we use them? For example, uh, the first one is pick up. So we know that pick up is como recoger algo. Eh, gracias, Robert. So, pick up es como recoger algo, right? O recoger a alguien también. So, in which of the sentences eh, do you think we can use pick up? I don't pick up. I have to pick up. Please pick up. Um, or please pick out of the bed. It is so late. I need to pick up. What do you think? Where can we use pick up? Anybody, guys? I don't pick up because I, my finger is broken. Okay, that could definitely make sense. Um, normalmente cuando utilizamos pick up, utilizamos como algo después, ¿verdad? Utilizamos el qué. Voy a recoger el qué. Uh -huh. So, yeah, tiene sentido, solo que nos faltaría ese, ese que va a recoger. Any other possibility? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? Si no fuera esa, what else can we use? Is a honey. Eh, ¿Cuál es, perdón? What is it? Uh, honey, no, no, creo no. que es como agarrar, ¿verdad? Eh, pick up. Pick up es recoger. Puede ser recoger algo del suelo, por ejemplo, recoger a alguien de un lugar, eh, recoger a la hermana, al hermano. Uh -huh. So that would be pick up. La Please, cuatro. the letter for me. Oh, okay. So the letters, let me just check if it works. Yes, please pick up the letters for me. Exactly. So that is pick up, que vaya a recoger algo, right? Um, can you think of an, well, ya me van a brindar ejemplos. Let's just continue here. Handin, handin es como entregar, cuando usted entrega algo. Se entregan reportes, se entregan resultados, se entregan algo, pero like de dárselo en la mano, right? So that is handy. Uh, what do you think we can use? ¿Qué podemos utilizar? What can we use?
any possibility with Handin. Hay varias, but um, what do you think? Again, Handin es como algo. Necesito también agregarle el algo, right? So pick up es como yo voy a recoger, pero algo. Handin, voy a entregar algo. So what do you think we can use here? It is so late. I need to hand find the report. On time. Mm, oh, okay, okay, let's check it out. Yes, exactly. It is so late. I need to hand in the report. Debo de entregar el reporte. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Um, what about the next ones? What about uh, typing? Typing is this, right? Like in the computer. I don't type because my, my finger is broken. Oh, I don't type. Very good, exactly. So I don't type because my finger is broken, right? So yeah, so you cannot type it. Ya no podemos eh, digitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about arrange? Arrange is like arreglar algo, organizar algo. So any idea, what can we use here? I have to make things for Monday. Okay, I have to, do, 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 do. yes, I have to arrange, exactly. I have to arrange the meetings for Monday. Very good, 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 good. And the last one that is take care. Eh, where do you, well, creo que es bastante fácil. <laughs> this is too easy already, okay. Eh, what can we use? So I think that is self-explanatory. Like, please take care of my pets. I'm going out, all right? Like, como cuídemelos, right? También cuando eh, me despido de alguien y le digo, cuídese, nos vemos. So we normally tell them like, hey, bye-bye, take care. So como cuídese o cuidar algo. So guys, uh, taking this into account, ayúdenme con los ejemplos. For example, the first that was pick up, es como recoger algo. Please pick up the letters for me. Um, ¿Qué es lo que normalmente ustedes le piden a alguien que, que recoja por ustedes? O piden que recojan a alguien, you know. So, can you give me, me pueden ayudar con un ejemplo de using pick up? I pick up my clothes. Okay, yeah, I pick up my clothes. Okay. ¿Qué pasa les ocurre? Pick up, please, put my dog for me. Uh, okay, hi, Luis, me. <laughs> okay, pick up, pick up my, like, like my hat. ¿Cómo ves sombrero? My, my dog. Like the dog, the, the pet? Yes. Oh, okay, so please pick up the dog for me. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Anybody else pick up? ¿Qué es algo que podemos recoger? What is something you can pick up? Pick up the children at the school. Yeah, so pick up the child, pick up my daughter, my son, etc. Okay, excellent. Very good, guys. What about the next one, Handin? Well, Handin is entregar, right? Handin a report. ¿Qué más podemos entregar? Handin a letter. ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mind? A document. Having 
this money for me. I'm in the money. Okay. Yes. Yes. Definitely. And what about take care? Que es algo que pueden. Eh, que es algo que pueden cuidar. Wait. Eh, chicos, alguien tiene el, la sesión. Qué raro. Dice Teras que es de la noche. Okay. Una aplicación que entre. Con ese. Ya, yeah, a mí, a mí me lo funciona, lo qué raro. Thanks a lot. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, so yeah, exactly. That is the one. What about take care? Guys, what is something that you can take care of? ¿Qué es algo que podemos cuidar? What is something that you can take care? Can you give me any example? Can you think of anything? Hi, Mr. Chacon. Good morning. Good to see you. Janet, good morning. Hello, hello. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing? Everything good? Yes. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, actually, pensé que había llovido ahora también. I thought it was uh, raining or like an earthquake or like a tremor or something. Pero está haciendo frío. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, that's right. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, okay, guys. So um, anything else that you can take care of? Good morning. <laughs> okay, see you already there. Wait, I'm going to change the color here because it looks kind of strange. Okay. Okay, so mientras el resto de compañeros viene, let's move on a little bit so we can uh, practice as much as we can, right? Um, yesterday, revisamos un poquito la, la parte de planes, right? Like plans for the future. But antes de continuar con este, este tema de plans for the future, let's go ahead and help me with this little conversation. Here we have describe ongoing activities accurately and regular activities, activities at the workplace. Um, first, let's take a look at the following question. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Guys, from all your co-workers um, in your store, ¿quién es el primero? Who is the first person to arrive? Uh, Robert, in your store, who arrives first? Tienda llega Ulises. Oh, Ulises. Okay, Ulises gets first. Okay. Wow, Ulises. Um, let me see. So we got uh, that is Metro Sur, right? What about Metro Centro, guys? Who is the first person to arrive in Metro Centro? I don't know why I got the feeling that probably Luis me gets uh, to the store super early. Luis me, are you the first? Uh, I'm in the Ryan. Oh, I I'm sorry. Can I'm you Ryan. Ryan. Uh -huh. Or Raul. Okay. And, and what about you? Are you like in the middle? Are you the last to arrive? Llega de último? Are you the last person to arrive? 
I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hi, Jorge. Good morning. Good morning, me. It's nice to meet you. Nice to see you again and super early. Thank you so much for joining. Glad to see you guys. Okay. So, um, guys, probably if you are not then the first person to arrive, ¿Quién es el último? Who is the last person? Or tell me, are you the last person to arrive? ¿Son de los últimos que llegan? Are you the last person to arrive to your workplace? No, I'm the first. Okay, so you're the first. Okay. ¿Hay alguien que sea el último all the time? Are you the last? I am. <laughs> no, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Pero me imaginaba, Luis, me that you were the first, no the last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Gerardo. Morning, Mr. Teras. It's amazing to see you again. Okay, so you are the last person to arrive. Girls, what about you? Linda, are you the first or the last to arrive? Intermedio. <laughs> okay, in the middle of it. All right. Ni si, ni no. Like, what? Uh, yeah, that could be. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chacon, what about you? Are you an early bird? Are you the first or the last? Intermedio, más o menos. Sometimes you arrive early. A veces llega temprano. Oh, sí, depende. Depende del tráfico. Oh, okay, okay. But you're okay. not the last. Okay. No, I mean, I'm asking okay. because. Yes? Hey. Please, hey. Hello, Jorge. Oh, creo que había dejado el micrófono encendido. Okay, okay, so I'm asking because uh, that is part of the routine, right? Que a veces llegamos temprano o a veces llegamos como bien tarde, pero siempre. Not one or two days, but every single day. So let's get, um, let's go ahead and let's check this little conversation we have here. Tenemos Ryan and we have Raúl, right? Um, eh, Luis, me, ayúdeme con Ryan. So help me out reading Ryan, please. And let me just listen to somebody else. Jorge, please, George, help me with Raul. Okay, okay. I haven't heard your voice in a while. So, <clears throat> so Luis me, Ryan, and George, Raul. Go ahead, guys. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you, do you usually get to your workplace? What the first things do you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. or 7... 30? 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, thank you so much for that. Exactly. So let's take a look at the questions that we have right there. Please, guys, uh, repitamos, repeat with me. What are you doing right now? What are you doing, what are you doing right, right now? Right now? Mm -hmm. Like, ahora sí, ¿qué estás haciendo, right? What are you doing right now? <clears throat> Next question. The person says, what is our team doing right now? What is our team doing right now? What is, what, is, what, is, what is our team doing right now? 
What is your routine, routine doing, doing, right doing right now? Right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one. What is the first Discover. thing you do? What is the first? What is the first thing you do? Mm-hmm. What is the first thing you do? Mm-hmm. Exactly. What is the first thing you do? So this is very interesting because we are talking about cuando llegan al trabajo, when you get to your place, what is the first thing you do? Let me just include these questions. Number one, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Right? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Pero en este momento, what are you doing? Uh, what is your family doing right now? Eh, ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita, like, the people you live with? Your baby, you know, your cat, your dog, etc. So your brother or sister. Um, what is your family doing right now? And what is the first thing you do when you arrive to work? So let's try to get this straight. Okay. Question number one, guys, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing? So we can answer it in like a lot of different ways, pero siempre vamos a agregar el I am, right? So I am, y luego el ing. ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing right now? Because probably no solamente estén en la clase, not just listening to English classes. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing? I am listening the class. Ah, wow. <laughs> okay. And just that, Luis, me? Solamente eso? Or are, are you doing anything else? As, está haciendo algo más? Algo adicional? Mm. Um, no sé cómo se dice, acostar. <laughs> oh, okay. I am lying in bed. Mm-hmm. I am lying in bed. Okay. Okay, okay. So you're lying in bed, you're listening to the class. Okay, cool. What about the rest? ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing right now, guys? I'm going like to this. prepare for to go my home, my work. Oh, okay, okay. So I am getting ready. I am getting ready to work. Okay. Um, so when you say getting ready or preparing, what exactly do you mean? Está cocinando? Are you cooking? No. Are you ironing? Está planchando? Or what uh, are you doing? What activities are you doing? I prepare my clothes. Mm, okay. Como buscándola, like checking for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you're looking for your, mm-hmm. okay. You're looking for your clothes. I, I am getting ready. Es un poquito general, pero si podemos decir, por ejemplo, I am looking for my clothes. Estoy como buscando la verdad. I'm looking for my clothes. Or eh, estoy seleccionando. I am selecting the clothes I'm gonna wear, etc. Um, what about the rest? Alguien está cocinando? Is anybody cooking? Having breakfast? Is anybody having breakfast? No. Is anybody walking? Christian? Driving. You're drive. Oh, you're driving. Es cierto. Se dijo que andaba fuera ya. Yeah, so you're driving already. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, Creo que Robert también. You're listening to music. Okay. Creería que Robert también is doing something. Mm-hmm. I am driving. Oh, you're driving too. Okay. So Ulysses is going to work. Hey, William, what are you doing, William? No he escuchado a William too much today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, William? No, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. No, probably in your case, no sería eh, durmiendo, ¿verdad? No, probably not. Pero si podría ser como resting. So I'm resting or estoy acá, I'm lying in my bed. Estoy como recostado todavía. So I'm lying on my bed. Or um, no sé si están sentados. So I am sitting 
right on my bed, etc. So it's sentado. So we can also use that. Okay. What about your family? What's your family doing? For example, um, I think my sister is taking a shower. And your family guys, ¿qué están haciendo? What are they doing? What is your baby doing? Janet, what's your baby doing? Wendy, what's your cat doing? My baby, me dijo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, estoy en todavía. It's okay, that's all right. Sí, está dormido. Oh, so your baby is sleeping. Oh, sí, yes. Okay, so the baby is sleeping. All right, all right. Um, let me see anybody else. Wendy, what's your cat doing? I don't see Wendy anymore. Lo siento, pero no sé qué había pasado. Oh, como no hay esta. Okay, no, it's okay. Yeah, de repente ya no vi la fotito del gato. <laughs> so, yeah, probably, probably, but it's okay. Thanks a lot for that. Okay. Um, so wh what is your cat doing right now? Uh, sleeping. Oh, okay. It is not even walking. No está caminando todavía. Visiting your neighbors. Not yet. Eating. Not yet. It's too early. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Now, guys, take a look at the last one. What is the first thing you do when you arrive to work? ¿Qué es lo primero que hacen? What is the first thing you do? Uh, Ulises, what is the first thing you do? Um, creo que Jenny va de camino, but uh, I see Mr. Chacon. Mr. Chacon, tell us, what is the first thing you do? Uh, first, um, send to, sending, sending, I am sending uh, email, check email. Okay, so that is the first first. Lo primero que hace cuando llega, the first thing you do. Lo primero, bueno, abrir. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> okay, what's the first thing you do? Uh, uh, no, no sé si ustedes se cambian eh, como uniforme, por ejemplo, you change clothes, or you clean, or, ¿qué es lo primero que hacen? What is the first thing you do? En el caso la tiene nosotros. Casi siempre, solo la camisa que llevamos, el jogger o short antes. Ok, so se cambia de ropa, you change. Uh, T-shirt. Ok, so I get, I, I, I'm going to use this one, like I get dressed, right, or I change my shirt. Ok, um, yeah, I, I change my shirt. All right. Then what do you do? ¿Qué hace después? Uh, eating. Oh, you have breakfast? Yes. Okay, okay, so you have breakfast. Guys, what about the rest? Um, ¿Hacen lo mismo que Mr. Chacón? Or do you have a different... Activity to do, like the first, lo primero que hacen. Violeta de vacaciones. Christian? No, él está de vacaciones, pero no lo hace. Oh, what do you mean? So, ¿qué es lo primero que ustedes hacen then? Mr. Chacón, you're on vacation, amazing. <laughs> Congrats. Que las disfrute. Thanks, thanks. ¿Cuándo regresa? When are you coming back? Eh, según mis cuentas, el 2 de octubre. No, tiene bastante. ¿Cuándo salió? 
El 16. Um, okay, nice. Nice, nice. No, I enjoyed them then. <laughs> I enjoyed them a lot. All right. So, no, but, but I guess, pero si esto es como, well, I understand cuando está yendo a trabajar normally. But uh, guys, what about in your case? Hacen lo mismo que Mr. Chacón. First, se cambian la camiseta or your shirt y luego se van a desayunar and then you have breakfast or what do you do? Creo que todo, la mayoría tenemos casi que el mismo patrón <laughs> para hacer las cosas. So, hacen lo mismo. Okay. You change your shirt, casi your que, blouse. Casi que sí. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ahí en la, en la tienda casi que todos hacemos lo mismo al mismo tiempo. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, so you get dressed and then breakfast. Okay. Alguien hace algo más or uh, anything different? Luis, me? Llegar un poquito tarde. Luis, <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. No, but, pero ¿qué es lo primero que hace? What is the first thing you do cuando llega, when you get there? Uh, Reporting, o sea, reportarse lo que uno lleva, vamos a suponer las prendas que uno lleva. Ah, nobody mentioned that. Ok, nadie mencionó eso. So, I report, ¿con quién reporta? Con gerencia. Uh, my be, I report my belongings to management. Ok, oh, all right. So, when you say belongings, como las pertenencias, you mean, eh, si anda alguna computadora, me imagino, a cell phone o algo, right? No, eh, no. the clothes. Oh, se anda como algún cambio extra de ropa. Uh -huh. Hola. Hola. Uh -huh. oh, oh, ok. So, I report my belongings. Solo, solo que eso es lo primero. Oh. So, el orden acá está wrong. Okay. So, when you get there, I mean, solo al llegar, you report your belongings. Then you change your shirt. Luego se van a cambiar. Como usamos ropa sí. que, que también está en tienda, ¿Ah? en venta, entonces. Para, que no, que no, para evitar no, confusión. Ajá, entonces. Mm. Tenemos que, que decir qué es lo que andamos para que ya sepan de que nosotros andamos algo que está en la tienda. Ah, ok, ok. No vaya a crear después una confusión o algo. Ok, got it, got it. No, bien interesante eso, porque, I mean, lo primero que se me ocurrió fue el computer. <laughs> ok, el computer or something, but you say clothing. Ok, nice. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más eh, hacen? What do you do? La toma de temperatura. Yeah, ok. So, like, the, the control. Uh -huh. I get my temperature tempered shirt taken. All right. Le toma la temperatura. I get my temperature taken. Y después si ya se va. Me dan alcohol. Me dan alcohol. Me dan alcohol. And I take a shower in alcohol. And, and the case of Metro Sur. Decimos desvirular. Des what's that? <laughs> okay. So you get, um, yeah, literal, well, ahora no España, right? <laughs> okay, so you get sí. some alcohol. Very interesting. This is like very, very nice. Okay, anything else? Algo más antes de movernos. Anything else before uh, we forget? Algo que nos haga falta? Are we missing anything? Okay, so that would be it. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for sharing your, um, well, las expresiones. Nunca había escuchado desvirular. <laughs> okay, uh, probably just in the health center. Let's move on then. Um, here we have like a couple of things. Uh, ya me dijeron, for example, that Luis me es el último en llegar. <laughs> okay. Um, besides that, uh, no sé si alguien llega tempranito. Well, I just heard Ulises gets early to his place, to his workplace. Alguien más? Anybody else? Mm. 
Nadie más llega temprano. Ok. <laughs> That's ok. No worries. Ok, when did you get early? ¿Qué tan early? ¿Qué tan temprano? Um, 10 minutes say, before, 30 minutes before. 30 antes. Okay, yeah, that's early. Usually, I have time. I'm the first. Usually, you are the first. Yeah. What time do you get there? Like 10 minutes, 20 minutes before, 30 minutes before? How, how early do you get? Uh, 15. Oh, okay. 15 minutes before. Mm -hmm. What do you do in your extra 15 minutes? I listen to music. Okay. So you listen to music waiting for these guys. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So Gerardo gets early as well. Nice, thanks a lot for that. Okay, guys, uh, vamos a revisar something here. Um, and antes de irnos a esta parte, let's just go ahead and check a little something here. Let me just change it. Vamos a hacer la breve diferencia entre los dos tiempos that we have right now. El primero es simple present. No está difícil, but uh, I want you to like, Pay close attention a un pequeño cambio que vamos a hacer today. So, el primero es simple present y el otro es present continuous. Um, now, I got a question for you. In simple present, ¿qué expresiones utilizamos? ¿Qué expresiones me hablan de rutina, de cosas que hacemos todos los días? Por ejemplo, I can use every day. ¿Qué otra palabra se les ocurre? Usually. Usually, yes. Rarely. Rarely, uh -huh. yeah, very good. Como whatever. digo casi nunca. No, whatever, no. <laughs> whatever, never, no. Whatever, whatever, forever, never. tampoco. Forever, never. <laughs> never. Ever. Ever. No, always, never, yeah. Never. Never, but I never see. Never. Uh -huh. Forever, and never, and whatever. No, but that doesn't apply. <laughs> Um, ¿Cómo digo casi nunca? How can I say casi nunca? Lleva un ever. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. So, cuando hablamos de simple present, hablamos de esto porque es algo que lo hacemos rutinariamente. Like every day, every Monday, every Tuesday, every week. Um, o Mondays, on Tuesdays, etc. Porque son rutinas. Often. Often. Mm -hmm. Y todas las expresiones también de frecuencia, we use them here. Or, for example, once a day, twice a day, etc. Present continuous es diferente y vamos a identificarlo exactamente por estas expresiones o qué tan a menudo se haga. En present continuous yo voy a utilizar expresiones como ahorita mismo, right now, Now, ahora, today, este, estos días, these days, esta semana, this week, or algunas veces voy a utilizar expresiones para futuro, por ejemplo, tomorrow. Y sé que voy a utilizar present continuous. Eh, ¿A qué me refiero con present continuous? O me refiero que vamos a utilizar el ing. ¿Ya? Esas son la, las eh, diferencias más grandes entre estos dos tiempos. Simple present, yo utilizo do and does y utilizo tercera persona singular, third person singular, pero en present continuous no importa la tercera persona singular. Voy a utilizar el verbo be más el ing y eso es todo. That's it. So, eso es bien importante tenerlo en cuenta porque si algo está pasando ahorita, uh, voy a utilizar el ING. Uh, for example, le estoy eh, como moviendo una pierna. O oh, I am shaking my leg. Estoy moviendo mi cabeza. I am shaking my head. Estoy tomando café. I am drinking coffee. Utilizo ING porque es algo que está pasando, pero ahorita. No todos los días, sino ahorita. Estamos bien. Are we good? 
Vamos a practicarlo. Let's go ahead and practice this. Eh, porque lo mejor, you know, the, the form of identificarlos es precisamente con la práctica. Here we have simple present. We use for general information, routine, or activities. Y tenemos algunas expresiones. Check it out. Eh, I check my email every morning. Todas las mañanas, right? She audits inventory. They arrange meetings. Son cosas que hace rutinariamente. Present continuous, we use it for activities at the time of speaking. Cosas que están pasando ahorita. I am planning a video conference. Cuando dice I am planning, ya entendí que en ese momento lo está haciendo. They are getting the documents ready. Ahorita lo está haciendo. She is editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. Si le pregunto, por ejemplo, hey, where is your boss? What is he doing? Ah, él está ocupado. Él está enviando reportes. He is sending reports. Porque en este momento está pasando. OK. Um, let's take a look at the exercise below. We are going to go for some activities here. Uh, it says, complete the sentences in present continuous. Ya nos dicen que vamos a usar solo present continuous, así que está más fácil. Number one, Thomas is printing out the contract. What about number two, guys? ¿Qué usamos en number two? Cheryl, quiero decir que está en una reunión ahorita. Cheryl. Meeting. Pero me le falta algo a meeting. Meeting está súper bien, pero me le falta algo más. Is meeting. Is meeting. Me le falta el verbo be. Yeah, remember is. I am, you are, she is, they are. Ya, yeah, el verbo to be. Meryl is meeting. Number three. He, necesito el verbo to be, he, he is taking, okay, like if I ask you, hey, and, y a donde está William, no se preocupe, él está haciéndose cargo de todo, oh, he's taking care of everything, okay, so this is the idea, he is taking care of everything, um, number four, Hey, I. Yeah. I am. I am. Paying. I am paying exactly. I am paying attention to the instructions. Very good. Number five. She. Is preparing. She is preparing the briefing. Mm -hmm. Uh, briefing es como algo, eh, una reunión que se tiene de dos, tres minutitos, donde le dicen cuáles son los cambios más grandes que han habido. Oh, ahora pasó esto, esto y esto. Ese es un briefing. Una reunión súper, súper corta. Eh, number six. They are, sending. they are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good, exactly. Now, um, antes de poder combinar los ambos, because we have present simple and present continuous let me share with you the following Les voy a mostrar acá. i'm gonna share the following thing and it says here what are these people doing describe the picture ¿Qué es lo que ellos están haciendo, right um so para describir esta actividad to talk about it um for example imagínense que voy a describir a tom and i say oh tom is singing pero yo le voy a agregar más detalles. Um, so, Tom is singing um, a metal song. Probably he's singing Metallica or something like that. Intentan dar como muchos detalles, todos los detalles que puedan to talk about these people. Uh, of course, vamos a usar present continuous for that. Los voy a invitar a grupos súper pequeños, like super super small, para que podamos... Eh, Compartir, right? So you can share with your classmates y puedan describir las fotos. So, tenemos cinco minutos. We have five minutes. Go to the groups, please. Unámonos and describan la foto. ¿Qué está pasando? What is happening there? Le, tome la captura, por favor. Take a picture. Take a screenshot.
Si ya tienen la captura, ya podemos unirnos. Me confirma si todos tienen acceso. Luis Mi, Gerardo, Cristian. Logran ver la invitación, si no, con gusto se las actualizo. Envíela, envíela, por favor. Un segundo. Me voy a second. Tendría que aparecerle ahorita. Ahí está la imagen. Está por acá. Dice, o va de camino, de Alonso. Hello. Escucha, chino. Esta la imagen. Don. Don y Cine. ¿Cómo? Eh, bueno, vamos a empezar yo con. Sam is drinking. She wants to drink. Drinking. It's okay. What can I do? No, so bad. Sam is drinking. ¿Quién va a estar con nosotros? No lo entiendo, Janet. Janet, ¿quién va a estar con nosotros? Eh, Gómez y... Hola. Mire, pero no... Ay, no veía la imagen. Pues sí. Y no le entendía qué estaba diciendo. No, 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 no ha dicho nada. Solo pregunté quiénes más estaban conectados. No. Hello. Ay, la mía. Hi. De hecho, creo que está en el teléfono, ¿verdad? You're in your phone, Janet. Yo sé. Uh -huh. eh, Can you, can you move it a little closer? Le puede acercar, yo creo que nosotros... Ah, como no, si sí podemos también. Ah, no, no podemos. Ahí. Creo que ahí. Uh -huh. Y yeah, usted, usted se la puede acercar. 
Sí, lo último le decía a Janet que no le, no le entendí, lo último que dijo. Que vaya, íbamos a describir lo que estaba haciendo. Oh, solo agregué detalles. Detalle. Mm -hmm, exacto, solamente agregué detalles. Por ejemplo, I see eh, Jason. Wait, es que no logró. Um... ¿Dónde está Jason? <risa> es que se ve ah. ah, ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. Ok, por ejemplo, you have Jason with a yellow shirt, let's say. And you can say, for example, Jason is okay. laughing because Tom is singing, I don't know, um, a Lady Gaga song. <laughs> okay, so inventas, <laughs> uh -huh, inventan details, you know, and you can definitely pueden hacer que su creatividad vuele. <laughs> Okay. Oh, como Lucy. Como Lucy. Lucy. Uh -huh, la que está. Ah, ah. What, what is Lucy doing? What is she doing? Está bailando. Lucy is, está imi bailando. Lucy is imitating Jennifer. <laughs> ok. Yo yeah. Make up song. <laughs> Ay, no. Hola. Ay, sí. Es que yo no sé si soy yo o qué, pero le escucho cortado. Mm, a Janet. Yo le escucho bien. Sí, a Janet, o oh, no sé, Janet creo que es la que habla y de repente se escucha cortado. Yo le escucho bien. Ajá, yo también le escucho bien a okay. Bueno, bueno, a ser quizás es mi inter. Probablemente, a veces sí el Inter nos juega una mala pasada. Va a que si ha llovido fuerte. No. Don't mention it, ya, yeah, ha estado súper fuerte. Sí. ¿Quién, ¿Quién más está? Jennifer. Hola. Nadie más. Pero ella iba de camino, creo. ¿Ah? Ella creo que iba de camino, que temprano entran ahí. <ríe> es la costumbre. <ríe> Vaya, vamos a ver. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, are you sick? No. Oh, I, I thought you were sick. Lo escuché um, como sneezing. <laughs> Lo escuché como, uh -huh, ah, como sí, congestionado. Yeah. Okay. Nada que porque todavía está durmiendo. <laughs> Okay. No, that's oh, fine. Wow. Mr. Deras, me alegra verlo. Happy to see you back. Thank you. Nice, nice. So, uh, I, pero... I am here. <laughs> yes, yes, that's amazing. So, estamos describiendo un poquito esto y you no know, agreguenle detalles. Um, Invéntense algo, be creative. For example, I can see Lucy. I can tell you... Um, Lucy is dancing. Um, I don't know. ¿Qué se les ocurre? Invéntense algo, guys. Help me out. Hello. Salsa. Salsa. Okay. <laughs> Lucy is dancing salsa um, to impress. To impress Dave, for example. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you can, you can make up. Invéntense cosas. ¿Qué más? What else? <laughs> Uh, Eva is mm -hmm. saying to Helen and uh, Lucy, don't, don't. Can not? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. So, ¿qué le está diciendo? Lucy is saying Helen? No, Eva is saying. Oh, Eva. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That Lucy uh, don't 
Move good. <laughs> Don't can move. Que no se puede mover. Pues. Don't can move. Okay. That, uh, uh -huh. that she cannot move or she cannot dance very well. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 What about the rest? Uh, Linda, William, help us with the rest. Sam and Danny are talking about uh, the new law of the country. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me just make this bigger. It's gonna look over. <laughs> Cannot see this very well. Sam and Danny. Are talking about the new law of the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I see that now. Okay, okay, yes. What is Jason doing? He's lonely. It's like the people. Okay, he's laughing. Sasa Burlando, right? So he's laughing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he's laughing. What else? The tone. Oh, Jason is laughing about Tom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many can talk about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sorry, you said Danny can? Danny can dance. Oh, okay. For the reason only he's talking with Sam. Oh, okay, because he cannot dance. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he is a niño rata. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, what about the rest? Um, da, 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 da. Claire, what about Claire? What is Claire doing? Claire, uh, the girl with the um, blonde hair. Clary is telling a secret. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's telling a secret to Jason. What is the secret? Mm -hmm. Tom is bad singing, singer. Okay. Yeah, the Tom is a, a bad singer. What type of music do you think it's Tom sings? Reggaeton. Reggaeton. <laughs> okay. So he, he looks like Bad Bunny's future. <laughs> okay, Aris. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, that sounds good. That sounds good. Guys, let's go back just for a bit. That was very nice. Listen. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, creo que me faltan algunos todavía. I think I'm missing, yeah. I'm missing some. Mientras ellos regresan, help me with this ones. Um, you know, la idea es siempre agregarle como más detalles, ¿verdad? Um, so let's add more details, seamos creativos, and let's do it. So for example, um, Judy, what is Judy doing?
or Joey. What is this girl doing? What do you think? Give me some ideas. Is she dancing? Is she acting? What do you think she's doing? She's dancing. She is dancing? Oh, I'm sorry. Se, se me está. Le escucho un poquito lejos. So you said she's dancing? Oh, no logré escuchar a Wendy perfectly. Extraño. I, oh, oh, okay, got it. So she is dancing, really? <laughs> um, in a strange, she is dancing in a strange way. Okay, yeah. está bailando de forma rara, right? Okay, she is dancing in a strange way. Anybody else? Alguien más, guys? Anybody else? This girl, what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? No? What about Dave? What is Dave doing? Dave is saying to fly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so he's about to fly or something like that. Okay, anybody else? What do you think he's doing? They dancing. Mm -hmm. He's dancing. ¿Qué tipo de música? What type of music is he dancing? ¿Qué tipo de música está bailando? What type of music is he dancing? Her houses. <laughs> houses. Her house, los 90. Oh, okay, okay. Really? Así se bailaba. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with that. Okay. Um, what about, oh, what about Eve? Take a look at Eve. What is Eve telling Helen? ¿Qué le está contando? What is she telling Helen? What do you think? ¿Alguien que se invente algo? Anybody? <laughs> okay, so Eve is telling her that it's too late. Okay, so that can definitely work. A secret. A secret, yes. It's telling her a secret. Mm -hmm. It's telling her, le está contando un chisme. It's telling her a gossip, a secret. Mm -hmm. Algo más? Okay, so all of them count. Very good. Good job on that. Okay, now let's do the following. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. We are going to do a little exercise, but for this, necesito voluntarios, more than victims. Um, so it is called like charades. Se llama, eh, this activity is called charades. And les explico de qué se trata. Charades. Um, no sé si alguna vez han jugado esto. I don't know if you have ever played this. It's quite easy. Um, this is played the following way. Le voy a dar una oración. I'm going to give you one sentence. Um, you have to turn on your camera y tiene que hacer la acción, right? You have to do the action. En los compañeros, en everybody, va a intentar adivinar qué es lo que está intentando hacer. ¿Cuál es la oración, right? ¿Qué es lo que usted está haciendo? So this is why it is called charades. This is, it's como una mimica, right? So the question is, what is he 
doing or what is she doing, right? Um, so, voluntarios, can I have any volunteer? Alguien quiere empezar? Does anybody want to start? Le voy a mandar la oración. I'm going to give you a sentence. And uh, solo nos ayuda con la camarita, right? And uh, nos hace la mímica para que adivinemos. Luis, me. Luis, me es un momento de brillar. <laughs> Guys, volunteers, anybody? Mr. Chacon, do you want to volunteer? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chacon. <laughs> thank you. Okay, now, ahorita le escribo la oración, right? I'm going to... Is in the sentence right now. Solo nos ayuda con su camarita. Okay. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir para que podamos ver a Mr. Chacon. And guys, please eh, look at his eh, camera. Okay, veamos su camarita. Look at his sentence y adivinamos qué está haciendo. So what is Mr. Chacon doing? Eh, le acabo de enviar la oración. Revísala si la puede ver por favor. Está privada, so that should be for you. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Uh -huh. okay. Ya ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Bye. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So yes, you help us with the camera and everybody pay attention to uh, Mr. Chacon's camera and uh, what is he doing? ¿Y qué está haciendo, right? So what is he doing? Okay. Vamos, Mr. Chacon, you can do it. <laughs> ahorita, ahorita. Mm -hmm. So, mientras Mr. Chacon se prepara, um, oh, okay, there you go. Guys, logran ver su cámara. Can you see his camera there? Yeah. Okay. I, I think we can see you. I think we're good. Okay. So, the question is, what is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Nos va a hacer la mímica. He's going to do the mimic and tell us, guys, what is he doing? Yes, you can do it. Saque los pasos prohibidos. Que no hay. Este. Solo mímica. Solo es mímica. It's only mimic. Um, you cannot say anything. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Guys, can you see the camera? What's he doing? Right, right. She's flying. <laughs> He's flying. <laughs> okay. Uh, William, close, very close. Right, a bike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. So he is riding a bike. Okay, that's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Yes, guys, give emojis to, uh, to Manuel. That was nice. That was really well um that a form okay next person who wants to go next Otra victima. Uh, no 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 voluntarios <laughs> so i'm like with with volunteers now with victims volunteers o si no pues vamos con las víctimas mr cruz mr cruz okay 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, William, this is for you. I'm going to send the sentence to you. Give me one second. Okay, William, le acabo de enviar la oración. I just sent the sentence over to you. Muéstrenos, please, sus dotes de actor. <laughs> okay, uh, help us with your camera just a moment. And let's get ready. Ahí está. Can you, can you see William's camera? ¿Logran ver su cámara? Okay. Um. Soy para mí. Do the best you can. Do the best you can. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what is he doing, guys? Can you do it again? <laughs> yeah, taking the shower. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Nice, he got it, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was really interesting. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, thank you, one more person. Um, William, escoja alguien, select a person here. Um, ¿Quién? A Ulises. Ulises. Ulises estaba manejando. No sé si ya llegó. Ulises. Recuerdo que Ulises mencionó que iba en el camino. But si no escojamos a alguien más, choose somebody else y cuando llegue, pues, ya yes, lo tenemos. Una de las niñas no participado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Jennifer creo que está afuera, but I see Linda, Janet también, eh, Wendy. and Wendy. Mm -hmm. Wendy, okay, okay. Wendy not es ready, la elegida. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. <laughs> you are the chosen one. You're not ready? Not ready. Okay. Are, you, are you out? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, she's going out. Anybody else? Anybody else? Linda. Let's have Linda. Casi no he visto a Linda ahora. No ready. Come on, no. <laughs> it's going to be just some seconds, miss. Just like super, super quick. Uh, let, let me send you the sentence. Uh, no, it's not difficult. It's not difficult or anything. And um, give me just a sec. Hold on, hold on. So check it out. Uh, I sent you the sentence. I think it's not difficult to make it. And uh, everybody can guess it super, super quick. La logra ver, can you see that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Amazing, we see you, Linda. 
Okay. Hey, ya no la vemos. <laughs> we don't see you anymore. There you go. Yes, ahora sí. Guys, what is she doing? She's moving her fingers. She's moving her fingers. Yes, <laughs> but no. <laughs> okay, Linda, one more time, please. She's playing video games. Playing the game. Yeah, she's playing video games. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, she was moving her fingers, but she was supposedly playing video games. Thank you so much, Linda. That was nice. Okay, guys, let's just go on with this following exercise. Luego nos vamos un poquito con speaking, but help me out here. Um, as we said or checked this before, take a look at it. Uh, tenemos que, cuando tenemos expresiones como everyday, always, etc., vamos a utilizar eh, simple present, right? Y utilizamos terceras personas. Si utilizamos expres expresiones como ahorita, en este momento, esta semana, vamos a usar el ING. So, revisemos eso really quick. Number one. I, alguien me ayude con la número uno. Can you help me with number one? Okay. Every Monday, <clears throat> Sally. Drive. This is important. ¿Cuál de los dos voy a utilizar? Every Monday, Sally drives, or every Monday. Sally is driving. ¿Cuál de las dos? Which of them? Is driving. Drive. Tenemos dos posibilidades. Let me write them. Uh, let me write them here para que les veamos y ustedes me ayuden a escoger because solo una eh, sería la más adecuada. The first one puede ser drives, tercera persona, or the second is driving. Okay. Now the question is, ¿cuál de las dos voy a utilizar acá? Which of them am I going to use? Drive, drive, drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Every Monday, Sally drives. ¿Por qué no puedo utilizar is driving? Porque esta es una rutina. Dice every Monday. Entonces no es de el momento. So drives is perfect. Um, let me just change color. Okay. What about number two? Usually, I... Working. Usu pero dice usually. Work. I, I am work. I am work. I'm mm. Okay, let me write it work. down. Voy a escribirlo acá y ustedes me dicen cuál es la adecuada. I am work. I work. I am working. ¿Cuál de las tres? Which of them is okay? Dice as a secretary. I am working. I work. Or I am work. Guys, which of them? I am work. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Alguien más? Work. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. um, something important is the following. Eh, esa parte de acá, I am work, nunca se utiliza. You know, no mezclamos dos verbos. 
Por ejemplo, si quiero decir yo trabajo, I work y eso es todo. Yo estudio, I study y eso es todo. No los puedo mezclar. Son las únicas posibilidades que me quedarían son I work or I am working. Pero acá dice usually. ¿Cuál de los dos va con usually? Sure. I work, exactly. That is the one. So just be careful. Eh, I am y luego un verbo no se puede. No, no sería adecuado. So, solamente I work. Eso es todo. So I usually, usually I work as a secretary at ABT. But this summer... Revisemos esto, de summer, no siempre, sino solo por un periodo corto, es decir, ahorita, este verano, de summer hay, y tenemos a study. I am studying. Yes, I am studying, exactly, I am studying, porque solamente es un periodo bien corto, es decir, ahorita. I am studying French at a language school in Paris. That is why I am in Paris. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, let me give you, um, let me give you just some. Oh, no, some poquitas. Let's do it together. Number three. Shh, be quiet. John, ¿cuál de las dos funciona mejor? Sleeps or is a sleeping? Which of them? Is a sleeping. Is a sleeping. Very good. John is a sleeping. Exactly. There we go. Number four, don't forget to take your umbrella. It. ¿Llueve o está lloviendo? Which of them? It's raining. It is raining. Ya, yeah? no olvides llevarla porque está lloviendo. Okay, good. Good, good. Number five. Number five. What do you think about number five? I hate living in Seattle. Because tenemos always y tenemos rain. Again, ¿cuál de las dos? Rains or is raining? Rains. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Rains porque acá tenemos always, right? Mm -hmm. Number six, guys. I'm sorry. I can't hear what you... Okay. ¿Cuál de las dos? Say or... You are saying. ¿Cuál de las dos? Which of them? Or saying. Or saying. I'm sorry. No, no escucho lo que dices o lo que estás diciendo. I can't hear what you are saying. Are saying. Exactly. I'm sorry. Can you not hear what you're saying? No escucho lo que estás diciendo ahorita. Because everybody talks or is talking ¿Cuál de las dos? Is talking. Is talking. Because everybody is talking so loud mm -hmm. Because everybody is talking so loud So, ayúdenme con la última Help me with the last um, Solamente para darles un poquito de FYI Tenemos la palabra currently Right. Um, so, con respecto a la palabra currently, la utilizamos para decir actualmente. Be careful, please, porque hay otra palabra que es actually, pero actually y currently son diferentes. Ahorita la vemos. Currently es actualmente. Justin, ¿cómo podemos utilizarla? Is writing. I'm sorry. Uh, Justin, uh -huh. Justin is writing a book about his adventures in the Tibet. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, coming back. Oh, my God. I got the flu. Okay, wait. Um, I want to show you something here. Give me just a sec. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this word, currently. Guys, currently eh, va a ser nuestra palabra actualmente, all right? Cuando quieran decir actualmente, esto es currently. ¿Qué actividades están haciendo actualmente? Currently, I am living in La Libertad, for example. So, ¿qué, eh, 
¿Qué me pueden contar de ustedes? ¿Qué es lo que están haciendo esos días o en la actualidad? Currently, I am living in la libertad. In my case, estoy aprendiendo italiano. I am learning Italian. Italian. And I am doing exercise. All right. No lo hago todos los, todos los, eh, todos los años. No es mi rutina. Pero actualmente sí. <laughs> okay. So currently, I am living in la libertad. I am learning. Uy learning Italian, and I am doing exercise. Guys, ¿qué están haciendo estos días? ¿Qué están haciendo en la actualidad? Estoy trabajando, you know, I am working. Dijimos que no puedo decir work. I am work, no se puede, pero sí puedo decir estoy trabajando. I am working full time. Estoy trabajando a tiempo completo, right? Full time. Etcétera, etcétera. Guys, cuéntenme un poquito de ustedes. ¿Qué están haciendo estos días? What are you doing these days? ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas que están haciendo currently? Um, Jorge, George, tell us a little bit about you. Currently, I am make up business for the company and I'm learning English. Ah, oh, okay, good, good, good. ¿Qué más? What else? Uh, I am currently my practice in my exercise the english okay mm -hmm. no super good 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 okay sounds amazing anybody else Thank you, George. Alguien más? Eh, Gerardo, what are you doing these days? Gerardo? Perdimos a Gerardo. Uh, Janet? Janet is out. Guys, who is here? <laughs> okay, Jonathan, Ulysses. here either okay um william what about you what are some of the things that you are currently doing ¿Qué está haciendo, um, como ahorita, right? Actualmente, what are you doing currently uh, study study much okay so you're studying from your career i guess Okay, okay, okay. So you're studying. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chacon. What are you doing these days? Uh, I am 
spending more time with my son. Ah, very nice. Okay. So you're spending more, more time uh, with your family. Okay. So uh, just check it out. Esa palabra correctly es en la actualidad. Hay otra palabra que es actually, pero actually, please check. No significa... Um, Um, actually no significa actualmente, sino que actually significa de hecho. So be careful a little bit with this. All right. So actually es de hecho. And currently es el que vamos a usar para actualmente. Chicos, teníamos una tarea para el día de ahora que era hablar de nuestros planes, right? ¿Cuáles son los planes que tenemos a futuro? Así que let's get started. And vamos a practicar un poquito hablando de nuestros planes. Luego regresamos here. Y la idea es escucharlos a todos. So to listen to you. Son 30 segundos los que le pedí que, que prepararan, ¿verdad? Para el día de ahora. And let us listen to you. Deme un segundito. Antes de poderlos escuchar, me gustaría que practiquen en los grupos pequeñitos. So you can listen to your classmates. Y sea un poco más fácil. So it can be a little easier y un poco más cómodo también para ustedes. So los voy a invitar un momento para que vayamos, practiquemos, escuchemos al compañero, you know, eh, please, tomes el tiempo, take your time, 30 segundos y luego regresamos. Tenemos cinco minutos, chicos, vámonos rapidito. Let's go there super, super quick. Creo que nadie está por aquí. Um, ya, yeah, no, me imagino que ya se están preparando para más tarde. But, eh, hola, Janet. Hola. No, ahí está Janet. Hello. Ah, ahí está. <risa> hola, hola. Hello. Hey, pero la escucho, Miss. La escuchamos. So we can hear you. Sí, sí. Lo que pasa es que igual tengo que estar. Ana, que tenía que estar pendiente, como a las 8 tenemos otra capacitación. Ah, no, no se preocupe, me imagino, pero eh, usted nos indica, right? Si tiene un par de minutitos para que practiquemos, eh, son, vamos, son 30 segundos nada más. It's only 30 seconds. Eso es bien cortito. Ok, ok. <coughs> Eh, le digo la mía <ríe> si quieres si no pues, eh. teacher cómo se dice divorcio <ríe> eh, divorce divorcio? divorced <ríe> es divorce pero depende de qué es lo que quiera decir por ejemplo si, si sería es? me estoy divorciando me estoy separando podría ser como I am getting divorced O no sé si es como ya me divorcé o what. El otro, la, el otro año. ¿Perdón? El otro año quiere empezar. El otro año quiere empezar con eso. Ah, ok. Entonces sí, I am getting divorced y solo le agrega next year, el próximo año. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm getting sí, divorced yeah. next year. Como me voy a divorciar. Ajá. Uh -huh.
the box. <clears throat> Vaya chicos, tell us quien esté listo. So anybody who's ready. Todavía no está lista, Yanel. No, todavía no. Yo esperando que hablar. <risa> Me imaginé. Estaba, estaba preparando. So you were thinking, I guess. Okay. Ajá. Eso, eso que me tenía pendiente de la okay. pregunta. Si no, si no, yo sí. Ah, pues ni modo, Wendy. Ay, con qué dolor. <risa> Vaya, eh, quiero ver, hello, my name is Wendy, eh, let me tell you about my, food, my future plan. First in year I want to speak English perfectly, tend to be able to travel, is it an house and country? I want uh, to try to try this gastronomy. This is beach is beaches, mountains, um what what waterfall falls? Mm -hmm. Waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Waterfall. Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. No, very nice. Yeah, that that's good. That's good. So, are you into trekking? ¿Le gusta la parte de trekking? De, de ir a caminar. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Quiero ir ahí a dar una por ahí. Alguna cascada, no sé. Hay lugares muy bonitos y que Pensamos que está en otro país, pero no que están dentro de. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, El Salvador has amazing places. I can recommend you one place in Santo Domingo de Guzmán. I went on Sunday. Uh, it's a beautiful waterfall, like 20 or 30 meters. So, como 20 meters, it's like oh. 20 meters. And, um, and, and you walk only for 10 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes maximum. But it's a beautiful place. Super, super beautiful. Mm. Well, right. <laughs> mm, yeah. And they say there are three more waterfalls que son más altas. But hey. no teníamos tiempo. We didn't have time. That was bad. Porque son dos horas. It's two hours of walk. Uh. Mm, yeah. Bueno, but, but I suggest you, yeah, I suggest you that place. Okay. Lourdes, tell us, cuéntenos, cuéntenos de sus planes. Tell us about your plans. Hello, uh, my name is Janet Rivas. Let me tell you about my future plans. First, uh, building, building my house. Second, buying a new television. <laughs> I am uh, studying English. No sé, perfeccionarlo. Speak English uh, better. So I want to speak English better. Quiero hablar inglés como mejor. Uh, Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, y travel a uh, Suiza. Parece su. Uh, quizás unos dos, tres años. Ah, yeah, póngale uh, ahí. In two years. So in three years. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y, um, y lo otro era lo último. Divorce. Sí, divorce. Me dijo. Yeah, I am getting, yes, I am getting divorced. I am getting divorced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solamente. 
Okay, amazing. Thanks a lot. No, super bien. Good. Eh, Ulises, no sé si ya llegó. Ulises, si está listo. I don't know if you're ready. Creo que no. <laughs> okay, so regresamos. Let's go back and let's listen to the rest of your classmates. Thank you guys, gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for that. Eh, me hacen falta algunos compañeros, but hopefully they can join us in just a bit. Okay, so hablamos un poquito de nuestros planes a futuro. We were talking a little bit about plans for the future. Eh, pues eran 30 segundos solamente, the ones we had to eh, get, right? So, no sé si tengo voluntarios o ahora sí yo puedo escoger víctimas. <laughs> I can select some victims here. Algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer? No, William, yes, William, you can do it. 30 segundos, voy a tomarle el tiempo, you know, para que podamos escuchar a tantos como sea posible. I'm gonna time it in 30 seconds and ready. Go, William, go. Okay. Menos. Uh, my plans for the next year are first. I'm going vacation to the camera with my family. Mm -hmm. Second, I would like to buy a new car. Okay. Later, I finishing my university career. Nice. And I get getting a new job where mm -hmm. I can put my knowledge into practice. Mm -hmm. Also, I would like to learn more English. And finally, visiting the green hill and throw flower. Yes, very nice. 30 segundos exactamente. <laughs> okay, William, that was nice. Muy buena pronunciación, muy buena entonación. Congrats. And I'm really happy to hear about your plans. So it sounds uh, nice and especially que ya quiera poner, you know, lo que ya sabe en, en práctica. So part of your knowledge into practice. Thanks a lot for that. Next one. Quien quiere seguir, guys? Uh, mejor ser voluntarios que víctimas. So, <laughs> quien quiere seguir? Who wants to continue? Christian, are you ready? Gerardo, are you ready? Rob, uh, uh, Robert is, is busy. Uh, George, are you ready, George? Yeah, yes, Miss yes. Okay, perfect. It's only 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, go. Okay, and, and tomorrow is my day off in my work. And uh, and then I'm going to the, to the park with my family. I visited in my sister, with your sister, with your sons, and then I practice the exercise or or, or workout or practice boxing, and then I some the music. I listen 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 music for the relaxed days and. and I stay in my house and watching TV and eating eating pupusa in, in at night. Okay. And I I, I visited and my my brothers in the next neighborhood. Oh. And, and practice English. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope so. 
<laughs> okay, thank you, George. That was a really nice description. Um, and I'm happy to hear that you want to uh, practice English. Espero que así sea. <laughs> I just thank hope you. that is so nice. So thanks a lot for that. Um, all right, uh, Janet, are we ready, Janet? Uh, or Linda, are we ready, girls? Luis me, no sé si Luis me ya llegó al trabajo. Luis me, are you ready? No yet, no yet. All right, guys, talk to me. No me dejen en visto. <laughs> Mr. Chacón, ¿está Oye. listo? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Esa es la actitud, ya ve. <laughs> no, amazing. Thank you so much, Linda. So, 30 segundos. Let me time it and go. Hey, hello. Let me tell you about my plan for the future. First, I want to buy a motorcycle. Then I want to, to travel to public. I want to travel to Guatemala, specific to the zoo in family, in my family. Uh, finally, I a lot of money. He mm -hmm. speak English. Flu fluent. Fluently, okay. Amazing, very good, Linda. So those are really good plans. Look, uh, just a question. Uh, you mentioned something about money, pero no comprendí cuál era la idea con, con el dinero, like to make money. Uh, ahorrar mucho money. Oh, save. So you are saving a lot of money. Okay, uh -huh. para qué, Miss? Why? What do you want to buy? Eh, por cualquier cosa. Oh, <laughs> for the future. Okay. Sí. So you're saving a lot of money. Yeah. Solamente le logré comprender la parte de money. So me quedé con la duda de, de qué era lo que iba a hacer con el dinero. Okay. But you're saving money. Nice. Thanks a lot for that. Um, and I hope, you know, si, si va a Guatemala, so you enjoy the time there. Okay. Um, let me see. Wendy, are you ready, Wendy? Yeah, okay, perfect. 30 seconds. Let's do it. One, two, three, go. Hello, uh, my name is Wendy. Let me tell you about my future plan. First in year, I want to speak English perfectly. Tend to be about to travel in and um, outside the country I want to try drive gas for me uh, visit um, beaches mountains and um, waterfalls um, finally <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that, Wendy. Um, and yeah, El Salvador is definitely a beautiful uh, place that you can visit. Um, and am I missing anybody? Uh, creo que Janet was busy. Solo me faltan the rest. I'm still missing some. Okay. Uh, guys, we are always trying to get some homework for the following day. So for tomorrow, same thing, vamos a agregar un poquito siempre, we are going to add a little bit more para que practiquemos en sus casas cuando tengan dos, tres minutitos. And this is your homework for tomorrow, va a ser la número tres. Where are you going on your next vacation? ¿A dónde van a ir? Eh, escuchamos que William Cruz nos comentaba que va a ir al de Cameron. But, quiero que agreguen detalles, right? ¿Qué van a hacer? ¿Qué van a comer? ¿Qué van a, a, a hacer en ese lugar específico? So, think about your next uh, touristic place. No necesariamente puede ser real, invéntenselo, right? Uh, for example, on my next vacation in December, I am traveling to Japan. Uh, I am going to go to all the anime uh, or animated um, conventions 
I am going to the river there. I'm going to take a lot of pictures. So, invéntense un poquito sobre qué es lo que, dónde van a ir y qué es lo que van a hacer. And try to include details, tanto detalle como les sea posible, right? That is going to be for tomorrow, la pregunta número tres. Because number one and number two son bastante similares and, and that doesn't require much. Eh, escuchamos también que George nos comentaba que mañana is going to be his day off, for example, and he is going to, or he is staying with his uh, family, right? And he is going to the park and doing exercise. So I think number one and number two, estamos super bien. So eh, preparemos, again, 30 segundos. Eh, les estoy pidiendo 30 segundos para que nos vayamos acostumbrando. Progresivamente le vamos a ir subiendo un poquito más a 40 y unos 50, un minuto, un minuto 30, etc. Hasta que podamos ya tener eh, una, eh, que podamos hablar por dos minutos o más tiempo sobre alguna actividad, right? But progresivamente vamos a irle subiendo a little bit. Eh, chicos, solamente una consulta. Estaba revisando la plataforma y... Eh, hay algunos compañeros que todavía me hacen falta a mí sin eh, un par de ejercicios de la plataforma. Porfa, ayúdenme eh, entrando. Creo que todos tienen acceso, but eh, veo por aquí que me hace falta la, las tareas de la semana 2. Algunos, eh, eh, George ya me avanzó con la semana número 3, ya me la terminó. Gracias, Jorge. Eh, los demás, eh, sí, todavía me hace falta que entremos a la semana 3. Con Jennifer estoy pendiente del, pendiente del acceso, but, um, en la medida de lo posible, guys, si tienen un día libre, un par de minutitos libre o en el almuerzo, en el almuerzo porfa, entremos y completemos las actividades, right? Para que no se les complique tanto. Um, voy a tomar asistencia, si me ayudan un momentito, porfa, con su camarita. Wow, qué músico. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> okay. George qué envidia, you know. <laughs> Se ve bien abrigado and you know. Ready there. Gerardo ya está en la tienda, I believe. But he's working already. Ok, guys, so regálenme solo confirmación, porfa. Give me some confirmation. Christian. Thank you so much. Gerardo. I'm here. Hi. Gerardo ya está trabajando. Are you working already? Yeah. What time? ¿A qué hora se entra? What time do you start working? Ya. Yeah. <laughs> A las 7. Solamente son. ¿Qué es lo que Ok. Um, Espera, que esta pesa más. ¿Cuál es? Uh -huh. ¿Quién es esta acá? Wait. Ok. Eh, Ulises, well, Ulises creo que va en camino. Gracias, Ulises. Gracias. Tenga cuidado, please. Be careful. Oh my God. Um, George, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Present, present. Gracias, eh, Robert. Sí, estaba por ahí hace un momentito. Eh, Linda, gracias, Robert. Linda, vi a Linda por ahí. Yes, thank you. Janet, Janet, creo que estaba en meeting. Thank you so much. Luis, me, por ahí estaba Luis, me también. Present. Yeah, Luis, me, thank you so much. Eh, Mr. Asensio. Mr. Asen yeah, Asensio. Ahora, ascensión es verdad, no es Asensio. Mm, yes, yes. Ascensión. All right. Eh, Wendy, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Present. And William Cruz. Present. Yes. Chicos, gracias por la asistencia. Thank you so much. Ya me sentía llamando, llamando a Gerardo a las 5 de la mañana. 
No, gracias a todos por estar acá. Thank you so much eh, por conectarse tempranito y pues por estar bien participativos, right? Yo sé que a veces no se puede porque van ya de camino, pero les agradezco enormemente por estar bien pendientes. Um, no se les olvide la tareita de speaking y la tarea de la plataforma, porfa, y nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Que disfruten su martes. Bye, me. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you, bye, see you. Too. Enjoy it, guys. Bye, bye.